Hi loves, hi, oh, welcome or welcome back to the channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video and wanting to watch me create this really dope uh, 5XL stiletto new personnel set, well it's really not personnel but I used the 123GO system by you know Couture and I just showed off the 5XL personnels four cover tips uh, from the 123 go system that I received from Max um, at enocontour.com. I will leave my discount code and affiliate link in the description box as well. I'm also using this 100 by 100 grit nail file to file over my natural nails and just prep them for application. I did more of a gentle prep. <laughs> and that's what I would call it. Um... Yeah, I did more of a gentle prep for this nail set. I didn't use any uh, primer, base coat, dehydrator, or anything like that. Um, I did just file over my nails just to put it, just to prep to some extent. Um, and I did that because I didn't know how long I wanted to keep the nails on, but I knew that I love stiletto nails. <laughs> and I wanted to keep them on for probably a few days at the least which i did i already took them off uh this being like four or five days later maybe but yeah um that's all i'm doing right here it's just following over my natural nails with the you know couture 100 100 grit nail file This looks hella aggressive because I'm speeding it up, but I promise it's not. <laughs> it's not aggressive. I promise. Uh, always also want to uh, throw in there that I'm using the flashy lamp from Eno Couture and also the EnoCouture.com matte. I just flipped it over because uh, the like solid pink design goes best for my background versus all of the print and all of that um to just focus on the items but yeah those are a few products that i am using i'm also using the uh manicure brush from enel um i have a really small one that i was getting from the dollar store because it was like three in a pack a fairly bigger one and two smaller ones this one is like absolutely amazing it cuts down my time for cleaning dust off the nails uh like it have so yeah i highly suggest that product it has two sides you can wipe away the dust and all of that off your natural nails off of your nail extensions etc at this point i've completed all of the prep that i want to do for my natural nails and now i'm sitting here and prepping excuse all of the shaking uh my filming setup is very different but um <laughs> Now I'm just following the full cover tips, 5XL stilettos to my liking. Um, I didn't have to do much filing at all because they're already pretty fucking tapered, um, which I thoroughly enjoy my stilettos being uh, versus, um, I won't say their name, but <laughs> another brand has uh, 3XL stiletto nail tips that I was using consistently. Like I'm almost, I'm almost out of them. I probably have like uh one nail of each of the sizes that i typically use for my nails but i had to like hella file those full cover tips to get them as tapered as i wanted them to be and even still they wouldn't be as tapered as the 5xl stiletto tips so i highly suggest i really suggest all these products if we're being fucking honest but <laughs> these tips are like really really dope and they're longer than the 3xl um stilettos that i'm typically used to they were starting to feel and look a little bit small um or shorter to me because like i was using them a lot and i like i love my long 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 nails so like it was it was it was flaring up my fucking anxiety <laughs> So yeah, I'm just really happy to have these um, longer stiletto nail tips. Again, they are the 5 XLs, and I'm just uh, going on each side of the full cover tips and also around the cuticle area to make it um, 
fit my nail beds better. I have a more rounded nail bed towards the cuticle area. And um, these nail tips were a bit more um, square. They're not as square as the 3XL full kit tips that I was using from a different brand. But they needed just like the slightest bit of um, customization. And that's really it. I'm going to finish speeding through this process. The next step in this process is using the uh, bubblegum gel in clear from email. Um, this product is dope AF. Uh, <laughs> I've already been uh, swearing in this video, so they're dope as fuck. Um, yeah, the bubblegum gel <laughs> is dope as fuck. Uh, it's very similar to the uh, solid nail tips glue from Born Pretty which I thoroughly enjoy um I don't know how to really explain the difference between the two there is a there is definitely a difference um if anything I would say that I had to I had to work with the bubblegum gel a bit more um when using uh, when using it during this nail set, then I had to with the born pretty, born pretty, solid um, nail tip glue gel. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I I had never used the bubblegum gel before. I wasn't familiar with the consistency, and also I was using nail tips with a um, higher apex as well. So I had to like overcompensate with the amount of gel that bubblegum gel that I was using uh within this set and I was just kind of trying to get a feel of it but now that I understand the consistency and also how much gel I would be I would have to be using um to get a like flush look that isn't um overflowing onto my skin uh this product is dope, so <laughs> 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. Uh, it performed a lot better than I was expecting. Um, so yeah, I just look forward to using it even more and uh, becoming accustomed to the formula. At this point, during the application to Flash Cure, I went ahead and used my you know, Couture Flashy Lamp to uh, pretty much seal the product in before I did a, a full. 60 to uh, what did I do? I think I did either a 60 second cure or a 120 second cure, two minute cure. Um, the quality of this video, I don't know what happened. I think uh, I had my camera or my flash like covered by something, so excuse the like blurred white cast that is giving. <laughs> Wasn't intentional at all. Um, but yeah, here are all the all of the full cover tips on. Uh, they performed perfectly, greatly. I have uh, nothing negative to say about any of the products that I used um, within this nail set. And here I'm just going in with the 100-100 grit nail file from Enel to sharpen up the nails a little bit more. I wanted them to come to a nice sharp point. And I was able to achieve that. So they were just fire. Uh, uh, yeah, like daggers. We, we're here for that. Um, <laughs> if you've made it to this part of the video, call me daggers, okay? Period. Uh, so yeah, um, I just sharpened up the sides of the nails. And also went around the cuticle area to get the nails to be more flush which you'll be able to see at the end once all of the products are applied and I got that uh the type of look that I was looking for I actually got compliments on this nail set saying that they look like acrylic and they do I mean <laughs> 
it was just the the combination of products for me. Uh, they worked they work all perfectly together. Um, I used a few Nail Addict LA or currently Nail Reserve LA products as well. And they all just work perfectly uh, together to my now favorite brand. So I'm here for it. Uh, enjoy the rest of this, uh, this nail filing. Now that all of the filing is complete, I'm going to go ahead and take one of the Maxi Wet, wet Wipes to uh, um, just clean the nail off of any additional dirt, dust, debris, not dirt, but dust, <laughs> dust uh, that may have still been on the nail um, from filing. And yeah, this is what they look like. I was I, I was debating for so long whether I just wanted to keep them clear or apply the C Swing and Sign from the Reserve LA. Uh obviously I went ahead and painted them, but I really I really just like them clear. So we'll see. I might just uh go ahead and do them clear at some point. But Moving along, I am using the base from Nail Reserve LA, formerly known as Nail Addict LA. Uh, this base coat is dope. Um, it's nice and thick and juicy, honey. Uh, gets the job done. Um, highly suggested. I'll leave my discount code and affiliate link in the description box for Nail, uh, Nail Addict slash Nail Reserve LA products as well. Um, so yeah, just visit the description box to uh, view those products or view my uh, discount code. Um, but yeah, the base is really dope. Love that. Um, the application was seamless. I mean, it, it didn't get any better. Uh, it doesn't get any better with this no set. <laughs> but yeah, I had the uh, diamond gel out from email too because I thought I was going to apply some uh crystals and possibly some charms but i didn't I just let them play the next nail set that i do um will definitely have some crystal and charms i've been slacking on like the crystal and charm content <laughs> but it's coming back it's coming back i promise i gotta i gotta do some real extra af bleak nails really really soon we're coming up on the end of this video, y'all. Okay. Uh, one of the last products that I used is Sea Swing and Sun from Nail Addict LA. Currently known as Nail Reserve LA. Love the polish. It's a perfect nude for me and my skin tone. And the last product that I use <coughs> is Dom Top from EnoCouture.com. Uh, if you know me, you know that I love me some studs. So, <laughs> Dom Top is just the perfect name uh, for <laughs> for me. Uh, Dom Top will be consistently used on this channel. Uh, don't blame me, blame Max, and my love of studs. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, the Dom Top Top Coat was uh, absolutely amazing. It's thick AF, or as Femi says, thick daddy, uh, thick daddy top coat. That's what it is, for real. It's, it's nice and thick and juicy. Gets the job done, seals everything in, and adds a nice uh, glossy top to the no set. I added a nice generous layer of the Dom Top Top Coat to each of the nails, and that was the end of this nail set. Thank you so much for watching, love. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel to see more nail related content, and support this channel. Comment the products that you enjoy. Have an amazing day or night, love. Ciao.